last week and coming into the conference weekend of SFA on the road. Just kind of your thoughts on how the team performed splitting that the Friday doubleheader and dropping one against SFA. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the week obviously is a, it's a tough week for us, a, a, a one and four week. It's nothing to not going to sit here and dance around and say we're excited about the results. So, you know, Baylor came in and, you know, a couple big innings and, and we just couldn't overcome it, you know. And the second game, I thought we came out and took a lead and thought things would go away. And I mean, we gave up a seven run inning right there. And, uh, and just, just not much, you know. I, I, so I think our kids did a good job of, of coming to work on Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We came with some good intensity, energy was good. Our kids are really tough. And, uh, Went out in the SFA and, and the Wilbur kid was was really good on, on the first day and we didn't have much answer for her. She she had to shut down offensively for the first six um, before we scratched a hit and it's kind of unexpected loss. Uh, we knew SFA was a good team. They're well coached. Uh, Nicole and their staff did, did a great job with them and, and we knew that they had you know they had a couple top twenty five wins where, where they were pitching really well and they did so and uh, and. We'll, Corona kid, you know, hits two home runs against us, and, and thinks she had probably six of their RBIs or five of their RBIs, if I remember right. Um, you know, the second game we came out and it seemed like we woke up a little bit offensively. Uh, once Terrellville hits the grand slam, we'll kind of get some things going. Uh, thought we had good energy coming into the next day, and I actually thought we played well. We, you know, the, the the inning started off really rough on, on Saturday, where we give up. Uh, if we go bases loaded with no outs and um, we get a double play ball and give up one run and get out of it, minimize some damage. And I thought our kids came back and Flores responded really well from that inning and, and really had them at bay and we, we come back and take the lead and uh, start to get some things going offensively against her. And I think we had eight hits maybe that game, but just couldn't string it together for the time of the inning. But, you know, we take a lead into the sixth inning and again, it, it, it's, it's been a, Achilles heel in that sixth inning, just a couple things go wrong with a couple of bobble balls and a, and a walk. And next thing you know, um, I think it's a tie game with two outs and we get two strikes on the batter. And I thought we made a pretty quality pitch and it kind of falls in right over our third base was hit and they, sc they scored two runs and we couldn't overcome it. So, um, you know, I think a lot of people are writing this team off and, and it's business as usual for us. We know we have a lot of season left to play. Kids are showing up with great energy. They, they're still determined. Um, we know we've had, we've created some of our own bad misfortune that has come about us, and, and we just got to flip that script somehow. And the only way we know how to do it is to keep working. I mean, the, the energy today, kids are showing up this morning. There's no quitting this team. So, you know, as much adversity as this team has went through, I'm, I'm really proud that they keep fighting and they really stand for something. Uh, they're not negative. They're not blaming people. They're trying to fix problems. They're solution driven. Uh, they know we're not playing very well right now. We're not finishing games. We're in a lot of games. We're, we're having trouble finishing. I think it starts with me. I got to do a better job of preparing our kids how to finish a game. And uh, that's what this week is, is, is putting ourselves in those situations and making sure our kids are ready to play. And uh, somehow I got to find a way. You know, we, we play really well one game, and, and then the next game is kind of not the performance that we're looking for. So, uh, you know. Just got to keep evaluating what we're doing in practice and what I'm doing with the team and make sure I do a better job of getting our kids ready to play every day. Uh, Coach, how uh, you, you mentioned preparing the team to finish better. I guess it's how can you do that? I don't know. If you have to have an answer for me, I appreciate it right about that. <laughs> uh, there, there are several things. You know, you got to look at where, where the breakdowns are coming. You know, inning wise or focus wise, or is it, is it two out hitting and or actually two strike pitching sometimes, you know? and. Um, so we got to try to duplicate that in practice and, and simulate those things the best we can and, and do a little bit more situational stuff. And, um, and, and that's where we're getting in the mind is it, somehow, you know, the intensity of practice has to increase where we can hold our intensity for, for a complete game instead of able to play really well for five innings and not finish the backside of the game. And, um, you know, we traditionally, it's the opposite. I mean, right now, if you look at it, we, we've outscored people early in the game by a great deal but we've been outscored late in the games. So uh, we need to look at that and see if it's our practice, if it's if it's me as a coach, got to find a, a way. Uh, I don't think we ever know what exactly is going to work. I know this, that we got to try something and we're going to keep trying something until we figure out what's going to work. But uh, that, that's what's crazy about the sport is you never know. But 
Uh, the great thing is we control our own destiny. We, we played a really good Northwestern State team coming in this weekend that's sitting at the top of conference. Um, like, like I broke down to kids, it's the, the conference is going to be it's going to be crazy this year. There's a lot of parity in the sport, and we can't get caught up in the past and living there. We we control our own fate. You know, we're sitting two games out of first place. At the end of the day, you're one game. I don't know what it is, but. Um, we're right, so we had a lot of series left to play. Uh, so I think we need to just find a way to play complete softball, to stay positive moving forward. You know, our midweeks don't don't let for a lot of learning curve. I mean, you're gonna play a UL team right now on Wednesday that's hot. Uh, I think they're sitting seven or eight in the country and, and they're playing extremely well. And so we just have to, to go in there with a positive attitude and have a game plan and try to execute. That's our other thing is, uh, not abandoning game plans halfway through a game. You know, we got to be able to stick to a game plan the entire way through. Do you feel, or how close do you feel that you are um, to like the to the batting lineup that you ideally want? Every week, I think I have it figured out. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, what I, I liked was, was the back half of the series this weekend. I saw some key people make some good adjustments. So a turbo will come up and, and, and deliver some big. Big swings, a big at bats for us. Uh, obviously, Justice, Justice, and Corey have been playing really well at the top of the order. So I, I think we're pretty close. Um, just got to ride some kids out, let them fight through some struggles right now, and, and that's kind of where we at. So I, I think we're pretty close to, to where we need to be, as far as personnel-wise. Now we just need to go ahead and execute some game plans within that personnel. Good.